Hey, you! You like computers? <laughs> Do you like hearing the new things that other people are saying about computers? <laughs> we got that! We got it! Well, 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 look who's come crawling to Canada to test their drones. Amazon. Yeah, but will we let them? What's that? We already have? Yes, Amazon is testing its delivery drones right here in British Columbia in a patch of land just north of the US border after the FAA took a really, really long time to approve a drone model that's now actually obsolete. If the US keeps dragging its feet on approving drones, who knows, maybe we'll get drone delivery in the Great White North first, eh? Probably not though. We never get the cool stuff first. Oh, and Amazon also launched Home Services, which allows customers to order professional services like plumbing, pressure washing, general repair, and even music lessons through the website. This is not in Canada. See? Go figure. It looks like Nvidia is working on an update for its original Shield Portable. Chinese news site Juggly spotted a new entry for a portable gaming console in a Bluetooth certification listing, along with the already announced Shield TV console. It's likely that this means the new portable will also have the Tegra X1 chip inside. Lily Putting also spotted an entry on the Wi-Fi Alliance certification site, showing the same device having support for AC Wi-Fi, something that was missing in the first gen model. Jack for one is super excited because it's one more thing he can put carbon fiber on. Fiber. Okay, that's weird. And images have leaked online of what could be the iPhone 6C. The photos compare an unidentified device with an iPhone 5C and note some obvious physical changes. This news seems to support rumors that Apple may launch three new iPhones this year, a 6C, 6S, and 6S Plus, each of them more revolutionary than the last. In other Apple news, the company now lets you trade in non-Apple phones for credit toward an iPhone at certain retail locations, but none of them are in Canada. Come on! Oh wait, I, I don't even want an iPhone. Oh, we got some quick bits! Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla will unveil a major new product line on April 30th, and it could be the stationary home powering battery pack he teased back in February. HTC China has unveiled the One E9, a 5.5 inch phablet, but no price or release date yet. Psycom, a Japanese OEM, is apparently selling reference Titan Xs modified with an all-in-one liquid cooler. And music software maker Native Instruments has created a new audio file format called Stems, which splits songs into four individual tracks so that specific musical components can be isolated. DJs rejoice, bro! Links for all of today's stories can be found in the news sources link in the description. Finger puppet. Speaking of finger puppets, you can get your fingers on a Samsung Galaxy S6 just like the one we reviewed right here in this video by pre-ordering it from NCIX Mobility. You may not know that NCIX is a Bell authorized dealer, so if you live in BC or Ontario, call, email, or head in person to your local NCIX Mobility location to get very competitive pricing on all the hottest phones. And yes, we do prize matching. Plus, if you tell them we sent you, you get $50 off. Click here or the link in the description for more details. All right, that's it for Nettling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And don't forget to come back tomorrow, because computer news, we got more of it. Hey! <laughs>